See that right there, guys? See that? That's DisplayPort. Have you ever seen DisplayPort on board a motherboard? Talk about future-proof. This is stuff that's barely even out yet. No one's even using DisplayPort. There's very few monitors that actually already support it, but that is future-proof right there. That's DisplayPort. That's a great way to transfer audio and video from your monitor, uh, from your computer to your monitor or your TV or whatever. This is kind of what's gonna replace DVI cables uh, in the future. It's gonna probably sort of replace HDMI in a certain certain ways or not, but uh, that's really cool that you have DisplayPort on here. Now, if you wanna know what this is, this is the Asus M3A78-C motherboard so this is a micro ATX motherboard this is probably one of the coolest motherboards to make a uh, small media center out of a because it's so cheap I mean this thing is really really cheap under a hundred dollars actually way under hundred dollars but it's very very feature filled lots of stuff on board here so I'm gonna give you a tour of the board itself I'm gonna talk about the specs and uh, I'll talk about split display port a little bit more too as well now what's special about this besides the fact that it's really small it's gonna fit in a small case well it's that it is powerful it does have DDR2 support up to 1066 megahertz it will support dual channel it will do up to 8 gigs it does have the 140 watt CPU support which I'll talk about in a second and again it's micro ATX all at a fantastically cheap price now let's talk about the specs on this thing this is a socket AM2 plus so it is going to support your phenoms your Athlon 64 x 2s and your Sempron processors from AMD it does have a 2600 megahertz front side bus using hyper transport technology from AMD now the 140 watt CPU support what does that mean that means that you can run your 9950 black editions you can run your 9850s and your 9650s you're not limited to what phenom processor you can run you can run all of them so that's very nice because at a price like this in a small case you can build a very powerful media center uh, the 780v northbridge is very very nice as well it's going to give you a lot of options as far as memory pci express 2.0 support uh, also a lot of raid and sata options uh, so let's go over uh, some of the stuff on this board let me uh, let me show you guys this board it's very small again micro atx probably like uh, nine inches square uh, you're looking at let's see let's start up here this is a nice place to start like always this is your socket am2 plus up to 2600 megahertz front side bus uh, moving on over here this is where your up to eight gigabytes of dual channel 1066 megahertz ddr2 will go it will support the uh, pretty much any type of memory you can and you also have a lot of functions for overclocking in the bios so you can overclock the front side bus and the memory if you want but again this is going to be a media center it's going to go in a small case you're probably not going to want to overclock because you're going to want to keep things cool and nice and reliable Plus, you're not going to need the super amounts of performance. But, you know, don't get me wrong. You can get a lot of stuff on here. Uh, let me go down to the slots. Let me show you the slots down here. This is actually one of the best parts about the 780V uh, Northbridge chipset. It actually does support PCI Express 2.0 X16. So you get one PCI Express 2.0 x16 slot and that is it right there in blue so you can run a very powerful video card there no problem and then as far as peripherals go if you want to add tv tuners and stuff you do have two pcis and one pci express x1 right up here so you have a lot of connectivity options in a small case that you're not just limited down to one port uh, if you move down over here let's see where else can we go come over here let's take a look at this these are your six sata ports so plenty of connectivity for uh, storage you have no problem adding as many hard drives as you want and it does obviously have raid support it will do zero, which is stripping or striping, depending on how you want to call it. One, which will let you do redundant backups, and then it'll do one plus O and O plus one, which are combinations of both of them. Now, back to the really cool stuff. Let's go to the side panel. Check this out, back panel. Starting from the top, PS2s. You got two USB 2.0s over here, and you got a bunch more over here. Very nice to have over here. Now, this is where it gets really interesting. Display port. This thing can take a video card, but it also has display port to output your graphics, and it also has uh, DVI and VGA. So you have the connectivity for both. You want to use a digital cable, you can do it. If you want to do a, a 15 D sub pin VGA connector, you can do that as well. All very cool. Now, moving along over here, if you're going to be accessing a network attached storage device or it's going to be part of your home network, very important and very nice to have gigabit LAN. So this is 10, 100, 1000 Ethernet built into the board. And then, of course, very, very high end audio. This is a 7.1 channel, high definition quality onboard audio. Very, very cool, very powerful. And pretty much, if you look at the rest of the board, you can tell, very elegant, very nice, very small, very nice uh, technology and hardware on this board, all solid state stuff, uh, ferrite cord chokes, all that good stuff that you see on the high-end Asus boards, plus you get all the great Asus features that you would normally see. So, uh, you know, in the end, if you have a shuttle case, 
or let's say a ultra micro flyer, one of those really small uh, Silverstone cases. This is a perfect board that will fit in that. It'll sit right next to your AV equipment. It'll run very quiet because like as you can see here, there's no chipset coolers. It's no fans, completely silent, all passive cooling. So it's going to run quiet. It's going to run cool next to your you know, AV station with all your receivers and DVD players and all that great stuff. And it's going to let you do all those uh, things that you want to do. The Blu-ray support, the HD DVD support, have display port on board this. So this is an awesome, awesome media center board. Take a look at that too, see that? That's Expressgate. That lets you boot up into a Linux-based operating system in less than five seconds. And that will let you surf the web, check your email, uh, do Skype phone calls, all that great stuff without turning on your CPU and your processor and all that other great stuff. It's just gonna run right off of the board. So that's a very cool uh, for a media center because you can surf the web from your TV with no effort and it only takes five seconds to boot up. Great cool option from Asus. If you have any questions on this or on how to build a media center or what a media center is or what to do with it, go ahead and email me here and uh, I'll see you guys next time. For more information on the ASUS M3A78-CM AMD Micro ATX motherboard, go to CompUSA.com and type in A455-2408 into the search box. Or you can always call us 24 hours a day, 7 days a week at 1-800-COMPUSA.